1873, President Lincoln's vision of seeing the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans unified was completed when the terminus to the Pacific Northwest Railroad was built. And where it ended, the city of Tacoma flourished around it. 131 years later, in 2004, the tracks finally stopped running. They took the, the most sophisticated steam engine they had in 1873. They calculated how steep that grade would be, what the diagonal line would look like to be able to get down to salt water. And that diagonal, that angle that we're on today that cuts across the grid of the city is like a big frozen hand on a clock that marks the power of an 1873 steam locomotive to climb a hill. It is to honor that time in the history of the city that UW-Tacoma is leading an effort in cooperation with the city of Tacoma to restore the Prairie Line Trail and make it a public space from rail to trail. Most cities have a myth about where they started and there's ambiguity about where it actually happened. In Tacoma, we know exactly where the city started. It was the building of this rail line. UW-Tacoma draws its origins to the rail line. The campus was created by repurposing the warehouses that had been built to service the tracks. When I first started teaching here, I would be sitting in the library and a train, a full loaded train, would go right through the heart of the campus. Well, we wanted to honor the history of Tacoma and to provide a great bike and pedestrian path right through the center of our campus. But this just provides us a wonderful space to hang out, to, to be able to transverse the campus from one side to the other, and to link us to the rest of the city even in a more bold way than the streets do. The city of Tacoma is following UW-Tacoma's example and has already begun renovations on other parts of the trail. The end goal being a single line that connects the water to the mountains. Explain this space to me. Where exactly are we in relation to everything? All right, so we're in the heart of Tacoma. The Prairie Line Trail from UWT cuts through the campus and makes a big zigzag over here with this new crosswalk and then down to the last segment of the Prairie Line Trail down to Puget Sound. One section of trail runs right up to a new wing at the Tacoma Art Museum, just across from campus. This wing holds a collection that features 200 years worth of Western American art. The new Haub Family Galleries will house the Haub Family Collection of Western American Art. It's a spectacular gift of 295 works of American art focused on the story and the history of the West. And this gift makes a great deal of sense for our community and actually the region. There's no other museum that has these kinds of holdings. To tie the gallery even more closely to the Northwest, the new wing was built to emulate the tradition of Native American longhouses. Parts of it also echo the history of the railroad. Again, why sliding screens, the boxcar image, um, and it most importantly controls light for us. So to have a collection of Western American art at the end of the railway, at the end of the West, is, it just makes perfect sense. Abraham Lincoln dreamed of a railroad to the Pacific, never saw the end of it, but probably one day, probably in the rain in December of 1873, standing between these rails, probably a contract Chinese laborer looked up from his work and saw the salt water of the Pacific Ocean and realized Lincoln's dream. It ended here. And he would have been standing where we are. That's awesome. It is awesome. Come see the historic Prairie Line Trail. And if you feel like it, take a stroll to the Tacoma Art Museum to see a little bit more about the history of the Pacific Northwest. I'm Austin Seidentoff, and I'll see you next time.